So we're here at the Lenaro Connect, and uh, who are you? I'm Mike Levine, I'm the Director of Global Talent for Lenaro. And uh, who are you? I'm Kun Koli, I'm the Release Manager. I've been working for Lenaro for 1.5 years uh, now, and so far it's been really nice. So I wanted to ask, how do you coordinate all these strong-willed, independent people working all over the world and make them do what Lenaro wants them to do? Oh, we certainly have strong-willed, independent people, that's for sure. You know, it, it, our whole global talent is, is really incredible. I mean, we're at like 26 different countries right now. We're spread out all over the world. We've got people in Asia, we've got people in Europe, we've got people in North America. Uh, keeping everybody talking, keeping everybody working together is, is the biggest part of my job really right now. So we've had issues in the past with Google Hangouts. It would work fine for small teams, but it would max out for 16 people or more. So for the big discussions, we were looking for new tools and we've we're trying blue jeans now. How is that working? I think it's been working really well. I mean, we're working with blue jeans for our training. Uh, we're dealing with a lot of times when our uh, CEO, George Gray, wants to address the entire company. Uh, we've had as many as uh, like 76 people on a call at, a same, at the same exact time. It's gone smooth, high quality. Uh, Everything's really been going well, and that's given us the ability. I'm also using uh, Blue Jeans from a recruitment standpoint, uh, a lot of our interviews, but I don't want to uh, say that we're only using that as well. We're also working with Google Hangouts, and Google, you know, uh, it, that goes very smoothly. We use the right tool at the right time to just keep everybody talking uh, and keep everybody working together collaboratively, uh, is again, is a very big part of my job. Yeah, for as engineers, we tend to use IRC a lot to communicate, and uh, so for face-to-face -face talks, team meetings, we use Google Hangouts, and for the massive trainings, we use Blue Jeans. And I quite like Blue Jeans when, when for, for my training, it, it it takes a bit out the feeling out of it. I like Google Hangouts where I could identify which street of Bangalore someone was on from the street sounds, and the mute by default on Blue Jeans, while it's it's better for the meeting, it. It's, yeah, each has their own. Each has their own purpose. I mean, yes. it, just as you mentioned, even IRC. I mean, IRC has been around for years, right? Yes. So it, it, there's good and bad parts about it. I like seeing people actually talking, communicating, seeing each other face to face. We do these connect events, and we get together, and there's all sorts of personal interaction for one whole week or two whole weeks out of the year. And my biggest concern is the other 50 weeks of the year. How do we keep talking? How do we keep everybody not feeling lonely? I mean, even myself, as, as involved as I am with the company, there's times that I feel lonely. Because I feel like actually in my role, I'm not an engineer, okay? I work with a team of people distributed all around. I've got only a couple people that are, I, intermingle with personally on a, on a daily basis so we need so I even myself need to be communicating with other people every single day and that's what every one of our employees does and even our assignees we're trying to get people in meetings and interacting all day and you know from experience yes. that's been what it's been like. Personally I try to attend at least three conferences normally narrow conference every year to meet my co-workers and all the other peoples in the field that's also an, an important part. Yeah. So like two weeks ago, we were in Brussels in Fosdam with our Linaro team and 5,000 other people. That was a lot of fun and we see a lot of people here as well and it's great for face-to-face -face time. So yeah. the whole community involvement yes. of Linaro, that, that's a very big point. Yeah. Linaro has grown, but we're still about the same principles. We're still about open source. We're still about furthering uh, Linux on ARM and, and everything that we, our core values, our core teams, our kernel work, our, our power management, that is still the biggest part of Lenaro and, and uh, to the community out there, it's incredibly important to, to us. So even though we have these other groups going on and other efforts, uh, it's, it's all just getting bigger and bigger and Lenaro's success has been doing awesome. So Lenaro is a very special company. Uh, uh, it Everybody's at working from home, yes. and uh, so it's very important to be efficient, 
with the collaboration. So how was your experience so far? Well, I've been working for home ever since I uh, started doing this work, so I'm, I'm used to it. And for, for Leonardo, my, my boss, uh, we, we kind of think the same way. So I, we talk very, very little during the week because we're kind of in tune. So that works out really well. And we have once a week, we have the team meeting where everyone says what they're working on. It's short, it's only half an hour, and then we can back, get back to work. So for me, it's easy. It's all I've ever known. Uh, and I, I don't know I, this for other people. I could guess that uh, some of the engineers, we, they absolutely want this job, right? Yeah. It's really, yes. it's really a yeah. cool job to have. I, did, I applied to Lenaro to be able to work from home again, and a lot of people who I've worked with for years and years were joining Lenaro. So I was like, hey, yeah. let's apply to Lenaro. When, when I got the chance to hire Cohen, it was, you know, he was well known in the community. People knew him already, so it made it really easy. You work from home already, it made it nice and easy. There's a lot of people. I get it. It used to be that Lenaro almost, no one, when it, like three, four years ago, nobody knew who we really were. Now that we're five years into it, pretty much anyone in the kernel world, anyone in Android space, anyone doing embedded firmware, pretty much knows who Lenaro is. Um, they might not know everything they need to know, but that's why really we want more people to, to learn about us. Uh, there's a lot of people that approach me every single day, sort of, I hate to say it, kind of pleading and begging to want to work at Lenaro. But then when I end up talking to them, they maybe can't work from home as easily as they thought they could. We, we have a whole process of, of working it out to making sure we get the best and the strongest and most talented people. So, am I correct in saying, uh, I, because I don't know, but is it correct that uh, Linaro has a top, the top embedded open software engineers in the world? The right running here? joke in embedded world for the past 10 years is there are only 300 of us, and I think Linaro employs now half of them. So Half of them. Isn't that 350 employees? <laughs> <laughs> we do more than embedded. There's also server people, cloud people, and, and, and whatnot. So, so half of the, the world's best embedded open source guys are right here already? For the embedded arm. All right, so I guess there's lots of people talking with you and uh, lots yeah. of, uh, lots of what's it called, as many resumes you're getting as Google or something like that? I wouldn't say that. There are, <laughs> Google's obviously a much bigger company, yeah. right? But we are uh, doing well on the recruitment front. We don't have a lot of openings right now exactly at this point, but we always are looking for the strongest and most talented people. And the, the great thing about us is we look for people who have the strong upstream kernel commitment you know we, they, they've had the experience they, they're a known person in the Linux kernel community I mean they get referred they by get the referred other guys, I mean right? we have the strongest people as Cone was saying but we also get the best referrals uh, so it makes my job a lot easier that way all right yeah Please, John. It's two thumbs, ladies and gentlemen. Two thumbs. That's right. That's right. Damn right. And the final one, Clyde, please. Cheese. Cheese. Thank you very much. You have the edge of the carpet in, but it's not a. Yeah, these guys, they did set the mic, Mr. Matt. Yeah, but yeah.